So, Tate, these fantasies started two years ago, three years ago, when? Two years ago. It's always the same. It starts the same way. How? Tell me. I prepare for the noble war. I'm calm. I know the secret. I know what's coming, and I know no one can stop me, including myself. Do you target people who have been mean to you or unkind? I kill people I like. Can I help you? Some of them beg for their life. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. It's a filthy world we live in. It's a filthy, goddamn helpless world. And honestly, I feel like I'm helping to take them away from the shit and the piss and the vomit that run in the streets. I'm helping to take them somewhere clean and kind. So how's this work? I'm not gonna tell you what criteria I'm using to grade you. If you lie, I will know. And if you try to trick me, I will know and this interview will be over and you will die here painfully. Are we clear? What is your sexual orientation? I'm gay, but I fucked a girl before in high school and I finished and everything. She did too. I think. It's harder to tell with girls. Tell me about your anger. Tell me about your grandmother. Okay. I hate her fucking guts. Good. Why? Because she wants me to be the perfect gay. I'm March. I built this hotel. The man who built this hotel died more than 85 years ago. This is my problem with police officers. All you care about is evidence. Evidence, evidence, evidence. Until that evidence no longer fits the narrative you need to be true. At which point the evidence becomes an illusion, a mistake, a trick. You've lived in my hotel long enough, John. Seen enough evidence to know that what is impossible becomes very possible here. Mm. You're late! I'm no one. I want what I'm supposed to want, I wear what I'm supposed to wear, and I work what I'm supposed to work. I stand for nothing. I never fought in a war, and I probably won't ever have to, because the next one's gonna kill us all. I can buy things I can't afford, which means they're never really mine. I don't live. I don't believe. I accumulate. I'm a brand. A middle-class white guy. But you're who you are. Even though the price you pay for it is being disinvited from the rest of the world. I'm the one playing dresser. Is it wrong to want to be with one of the few people in the world who isn't? To have one person in my life who I know is real? You think of me as a real woman? You'd be crazy to choose this life if you didn't have to. What's in those pills? No one knows except the chemist. I need a drink. After the big crash, a lot of folks out of work with nothing to do but get hungry and high. This one person, no one really knows who they are, by the way, starts experimenting with different recipes. But you want to know the best part. It only works if you have talent. So, those things you see haunting around town, they took the pill, but they're just hacks, wannabes. Dreamers! But now I'm draining packages of raw steak to drink the juices and, and, and sucking the blood out of my wife's finger. Mm. Scientifically, the drug severely depletes the four major minerals in our blood. See, Harry, you can't survive on the pill without replacing those minerals in heroic doses. You're gonna need that fresh, warm stuff from something that has opposable thumbs. Fuck that, I'm not doing that. Good luck ever writing anything ever again. Once you take the pill, you can't get hard without it. I don't care, this is all insanity. Oh, name one successful person that isn't a little fucking insane. Fuck you! Fuck you! 
I hope they like your script back in Hollywood land. I bet they will. And then you'll be running back for those little darlings. Fidelity to the cause is the backbone of our movement. But it's time to remove ourselves from the shackles of our bodies. That's why this Kool-Aid isn't just for the women. It's for all of us. Our bodies are holding us back. All they do is create pain and suffering. In order to transcend biology and be reborn into astral beings, we need to kill our physical selves. We will resurrect from the instant of death into a greater being and come back from my senatorial run more powerful than we can imagine. Everybody take a cup. When I point to you, you drink. Fuck yeah. It's a good day to die. Seriously, Kyle, what are you gonna get? Come on, check mine out. Let's see. It means beginning and end. You know, dude, most of those don't even mean what the chart on the wall says they mean. You might have a freaking idiot on your leg right now. <laughs> now. Seriously, Kyle, get something. You guys know why the levees broke during Katrina? The levees were built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, but they built them for shit. Where I'm from still hasn't recovered and probably never will. What the hell does you getting a tattoo have to do with Katrina? I'm going to be an engineer, and I'm going to make sure shit like that never happens again. I don't want to walk into some big meeting with the mayor governor and roll up my sleeves and have a little Saints logo or, or Wiley E. Coyote or anything that's going to make him think that I'm anything other than his knight in shining armor. I got one life, and I'm not wasting it. I think it's a pretty cool idea, Kyle. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, I do too. That's why I want to wish you the luck of the Irish. I didn't know you were Irish. I'm not. You can't drink or fight. You're a little bitch. <laughs> Looks good, right? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>